Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Monthly Collaboration Series. Revolts were fairly common throughout Japanese history, from relatively minor local ones to major overthrows of the governing body and many degrees between. This month, I will be covering what is arguably one of, if not the most successful, quote-unquote, peasant revolts of the Moramachi period, 1336 to 1573. That is the Kaga Rebellion, or Chokyo Uprising, in Japanese, Chokyo Sodo, which occurred in 1487 and 1488. I say quote-unquote, as while this has been largely remembered and kind of romanticized as a peasant rebellion, reality was more complex. This video is part of the monthly collaboration series done in conjunction with other Japanese history YouTube channels. These channels are Samurai and Ninja History, The Shogunate, and Samurai Traditions of the Tada Genji. Their channel links will be in the description, and the links to this month's videos will be in the pinned comment. Please check out their videos and give their channels a look for a variety of especially Samurai-related content. Here is an image of the location of the province of Kaga. It was what is currently roughly the western portion of modern Ishikawa Prefecture. In the late 15th century, there was a rivalry in the Kaga province over the title of Shugo. I will get into Shugo more in the future. However, for the sake of this video, you can simply think of them as provincial military governors appointed by the Muromachi Bakufu. In Kaga, the Togashi family held this title. There was rarely peace within the Shugo families at this time, and this was the case for the Togashi as well. The Shugo of Kaga at this time, Togashi Masachika, had to contend with his own brother, Kochio, his younger brother, as well as unhappy vassals and resistance from local independent warriors such as the Kokujin. When the Onin War started in 1467, Masachika supported Hosokawa Katsumodo, and Kochio supported Yamana Sozen, who were on opposing sides of the war. Even before hostilities broke out between the two camps, it was common for warriors in the provinces to begin siding with one or the other. Oftentimes, rivals supported opposing camps, which kind of legitimized the private rivalries and oftentimes low or not so low level wars they had been conducting against each other. So, with Masachika and Kochio as rivals in Kaga, it was quite natural that they would ally with opposing sides in the Onin War. In 1473, Kochio ousted his brother, and Masachika went to Asakura Toshikaga for assistance. Toshikaga was the Shugo of Echizen province and an ally of the Hosokawa. He also asked for aid from the Ikoiki and priests of the Yoshizaki Gobo, part of the Honganji faction of Jodo Shinshu Buddhism. For a quick overview, Ikoiki were groups of members of the Honganji faction who banded together for a variety of reasons. It is often portrayed as peasant groups, but in reality, their membership included individuals from pretty much all social classes other than perhaps the aristocracy. Kochio supported and patronized the Takada faction of Jodo Shinshu. The Honganji and Takada factions were enemies over control of Jodo Shinshu. Eventually, Renyo, the head of Honganji, she sanctioned the support given by the Ikuiki and supported Masachika. Masachika, with the support of the Asakura and Ikuiki, was able to subdue his brother and retake his position as Shugo of Kaga. However, by 1474, he was once again already struggling with vassals and the local warriors, and now disgruntled Ikuiki as his promises he made to them had went unfulfilled. Some scholars have suggested that the reason he continually struggled with his own vassals and local warriors was because he was attempting to exert more authority and control over them than they were willing to accept. Whatever the cause or causes, though, these internal issues helped to foster what would eventually occur. In 1487, Masachika went on campaign to Omi province. The shogun, Ashikaga Yoshihisa, called on aid to suppress Rukaku Tokuyori. In his absence, with a large portion of his forces, Ikoiki, provincial warriors, and discontented vassals of Masachika banded together and gained control in Kaga. Masachika returned to quell the revolt, but he was ultimately unsuccessful. He was cut off from any reinforcements, and the rebel forces laid siege and set fire to his castle. In the end, Masachika killed himself within his castle in 1488. This has often been called a peasant revolt, but as we can see, local warriors and disgruntled vassals also played an important role in it. Even within the Ikuiki, not all members were peasants. 
This is a common misunderstanding that I said before. Not only were there clerics involved with them, but there were also samurai who were members of the Ikuiki. So there were some samurai who were part of the Ikuiki and others who were not who were involved with this revolt. Following the defeat and death of Masachika, his uncle and former Shugo, Togashi Yasutaka, was made Shugo of Kaga once more. It is from this point that it has often been commonly portrayed that Kaga became a province ruled by peasants. That is, that the Ikoiki were the ones who were truly running the province, and Yasutaka was merely their puppet through which they ruled indirectly. However, there is also evidence that the Kaga Ikoiki seemed to be relatively fine with Yasutaka's rule and had little involvement in it. Yasutaka died in 1504, at which point the title of Shugo was passed on to his son, Tanayasu. Now, there is much more to this story than I could have gone over here, and more things that happened in the aftermath of the Kaga. This was by no means the complete or end of the story of the Ikuiki and Kaga. However, this video has been more about the early stages and the revolt that kind of kickstarted it all. Please remember to check out the other videos in this month's collaboration by checking out the pinned comment below. New videos for this month's topic will be added as they become available. Also, Take a look in the description for their channel links and check out some of their variety of content from different perspectives, especially about warfare. I hope that you have found this video informative. Thank you so much for giving me your time and watching or listening to this video until the end. I appreciate it. If you did, please consider checking out some of my other videos. I also want to give a special thank you to my Patreon members, Coulter Nebel and Bushel, for their generosity. If you are interested, the link is in the description. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day wherever you are. Otsukare sama desu